let's talk about anti-inflammatories, or NSAIDs. NSAID stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and they're in fact very common. So there's a whole bunch of different ones, many that are very familiar to folks, a number that are over the counter. So ibuprofen, otherwise known as Advil or Motrin, and Aproxen, which is over the counter, Aleve, are very common. Diclofenac is prescription, but can be a topical anti-inflammatory. There's many more than I've listed here. Uh, that are commonly available for all sorts of conditions. NSAIDs cause inhibition to an important step in the body's inflammatory process. And by doing this, inflammation, as well as pain, fever, which can be caused by inflammation, is reduced. NSAIDs usually work quite quickly, usually within hours, if not a little bit faster. But important to note that in most cases, NSAIDs do not change the underlying disease. So for instance, in a condition like rheumatoid arthritis, while NSAIDs may make it feel better, it doesn't actually treat the underlying arthritis itself. It more hides it. Which NSAIDs work best? Well, in fact, no NSAID is actually more effective than another. For any given individual, it's certainly possible that one may work better for you. So sometimes it's worthwhile trying one more than uh, one over another. And the effect, though, can last different amount of times depending on the one that you take. So, for instance, naproxen, Aleve, may often work longer than ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin. But for many folks, ibuprofen may work better than Aleve. So it, it does require that little bit of balance there. Celecoxib, brand name Celebrex, is kind of the newest anti-inflammatory, newest NSAID that's out there, although it's been on the market now for about 20 years, and has a reputation of being better. And actually, this isn't probably true. So it's not necessarily more effective, although it may be safer, but again, safer only when it comes to GI side effects. So what are generally side effects that we might see from anti-inflammatories from NSAIDs. So there is a whole host of potential side effects, and that's why we really do need to be cautious about using NSAIDs. Those risks are going to be higher for those who might have pre-existing conditions, and are higher if you have to use an anti-inflammatory on a more regular basis. So things like heartburn, stomach ulcers, diarrhea are concerns, and so the heartburn and stomach ulcers that maybe Celebrex is a bit safer for. But they all, all NSAIDs can cause potentially increased blood pressure, can affect kidney function, may increase risk for heart attacks, may decrease blood clotting, and might cause increased risks at certain times during pregnancy. How can we reduce those risks? So first of all, make sure NSAIDs are right for you. There are other pain relievers that are out there, and for some people, they may be more appropriate. One good example in terms of an over-the-counter medication is acetaminophen, known as Tylenol. It's a, one of the safest pain relievers out there and has very few side effects if used properly compared to anti-inflammatories. Some people find Acetaminophen doesn't work as well as anti-inflammatories, but certainly worth trying from a safety point of view. Important to have a conversation with your doctor, particularly if you have a past history of heartburn or stomach ulcers, blood pressure issues, kidney or heart problems, to ensure that anti-inflammatories are safe for you. Make sure that you follow your physician's instructions, Make sure you don't take more anti-inflammatories than instructed. And also important to make sure that you're not taking more than one type of NSAID at the same time. So for instance, you don't want to take an ibuprofen and an aproxen in the same day. Other things to consider is, as we mentioned at the beginning, NSAIDs sometimes can be given topically rather than taken by mouth that's gonna reduce the overall side effects as the topical version is gonna be more local as opposed to going everywhere in the body if you take it as a pill. And of course, you wanna look for signs of side effects. The biggest one being heartburn or stomach pain. 
make sure you tell your doctor if that happens. You probably um, will need to consider stopping it, although sometimes your doctor may have other suggestions as well. Anti-inflammatories, NSAIDs, can interfere with a variety of other medications. So it's important that you go over with your doctor what you're on and how long or what your NSAID plan is to ensure it's safe. Specifically, when it comes to rheumatology, NSAIDs are considered safe with most of our medications, including disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, DMARDs, and biologics. And NSAIDs are safe to use with acetaminophen, Tylenol. For more information on NSAIDs, on any of the other medications we use in rheumatology or our conditions, please feel free to view any of our other videos or visit our website at albertarheumatology.com.